Welcome back to another week of full watching. Uh, update from the weekend, my weekend night shift finally had their first baby. I'll introduce you to her momentarily. She's currently taking a nap, so we will let her be. Um, in the meantime, we have, oh, I have two that I think are a pretty solid chance to fold this week. And then there's a few others. It's kind of one of those things, it's like I got two you know, wouldn't be surprised. But I also wouldn't be surprised if like a certain select decide to make a move and then have a baby. You know what I mean? Toward the end of week or something of that nature. Obviously, still waiting on this ghost zapper over here. Lord have mercy. She actually has the world's tiniest little bit of wax. Now, I didn't think she was going to be a mare to, specifically to wax up. She just didn't see. I didn't get the vibe. Uh, and it's so tiny. It's very easy to miss. She was a little uncomfortable this afternoon because my horses are like in the barn right across. And so I was back and forth peeking on them just to keep an eye on. And she's just a little uncomfortable. And so she's definitely something, obviously we've been waiting for her for like a week because she's been uncomfortable for like a week. That being said, tonight is her due date. So like she's, she wasn't, she's not late or anything. She's right on schedule. She's just been a very un uncomfortable pregnant being which i don't blame her and then we also have this little charlatan over here that also has like the world's tiniest little bit of wax and i wouldn't be surprised if she also goes this week because her best friend who is also her sister fold this week or fold saturday and so you know now her best friend is not in the same field as her and so there's a good chance she'll be like i want to be with my buddy again i'm gonna have my baby so She's also due, so that's it wouldn't be too big of a surprise. And then I have this, like, let me count. One, two, three, maybe? I got three mares that they could use a little bit more, like, progress. Just a little more boob or just relax a little more behind. Something of that nature for me to be like, yeah, okay. Now we're in the zone where I'm saying they're going to go. So I wouldn't be overly surprised if they make a little bit of a move sometime this week and end up having a baby end of the week. Or... No baby. It is what it is. It's kind of setting up for that we might have that baby boom. Is it going to be this week or next week? I think more likely next week. Which is, oh, that would be fine because I think that's... I need to look at a calendar. I don't know what day my birthday is. Um, I don't have any new faces to introduce you all to as of yet. I'm sure this kiddo, this is the Uncle Mo that was born toward the end of last week. He is one that shipped in and he'll ship out. So he'll leave. But, so I, I'm sure I'll have a new face to introduce you all to once he clears out. Uh, but this, the little one that was born over the weekend, she stays here forever. Not forever, until she's two. And then she goes to the racetrack. But are you awake yet? She says, no, I'm taking a nap. All right, we, we will introduce you all to, to her when she wakes up. I'm not going to annoy her as of right now. But that's kind of the game plan really those two are kind of the ones I'm waiting for maybe someone else will also do something but I guess we're gonna wait and see all right so I lied I lied I lied uh the Uncle Mo we have another Uncle Mo she's gonna be next on our list she's <laughs> dripping <laughs> to ripping milk uh she was not doing that not even an hour ago so you know that's fine but I came over because she was kind of walking her stall a little bit and I was like what are you making so much noise for and I was like huh yeah, that'll do it. Anyway, so I'm going to go get her stuff ready. Uh, I haven't actually walked you all through what I do getting the, getting them ready, you know, ahead of time. Uh, so let me go ahead and knock some of that out. I guess why we wait for her to do her thing.
time I come to say hello, she's either nursing or sleeping. And look, she's about to just go kerplunk. Why there? You're right under your mother. Oh, good lord. Anyway, I guess this is what we're going to do. Uh, but this is the little curlin' filly that was born over the weekend. Obviously, mother has been great considering baby just plopped down. Is it nap time? She goes, you just, you just stood to eat and then you kicked mom a couple times and you ate a little more and you laid right back down. She's like, it's so hard being this, this cute. What are you doing? She's like, I don't know. Anyway, it's nighttime. Obviously, mama's been doing great. She's been, this is her first baby. She's been very patient, very tolerant. Um, but in the meantime, uh, we also have another one to say hello to. Bye, little one. Look, now we can finally see your cute little face. Kind of. Oh, not really. Sort of. She's like, eh, I really don't care what you gotta say. Oh, hold on. I'll say it's nighttime for you anyway. Uh, but in the meantime, we have another one to say hello to. I had a feeling she was going to go after I walked by and I was seeing all the milk. But I was like, eh, yeah, it's still not the ghost zapper. She's just been munching on hay. But now we have another filly to say hello to with a little Uncle Mo. And she is hungry. She's ready. Oh, I almost fell over. That's it. She's searching for a boob, but she's not stood up yet. Easy, Mom. You're very close to your child. She's like, yes. Uh, but she is a first-time mama, too. We have a lot of first-time mamas in this first little batch. And so, I always try and keep a little bit of a closer eye on the first-timers, just because you never know, you know? But also, they're t they tend to be the ones that need a little bit of extra assistance, whether it's just, you know, patience, or they just don't really understand. It hasn't quite clicked. Yeah, you know, you're being so good, though. She's like, yeah... Because I have a baby. I made that. You did. It's actually a pretty big baby, too. It's almost about this. It's about the same size as the Uncle Mo Colt that was born over the... On Friday. And ironically, they're stalled right next to each other. But, but the Colt, I think that was her third baby? Second or third? So this is her first. And so I was like, huh. Well, they're about the same size. Alright. Let's... Uh, I'm going to... Easy, killer. I know. Are you ready to get up? Are you going to need a little assistance? Because you got some long legs, kiddo. I just cleaned your stall and everything for you. So, they, I mean... You got it? No. We're just going to keep scooting? Alright, I'll, I'll give you a helping hand. Let's see. Well, the ghost zapper continues to disappoint us. But that's okay, because we at least got one knocked out of the way. Uh, for the most part, everyone was pretty chill, pretty quiet. No one kind of did anything interesting besides this kiddo over here who's continuously kicked his mom for whatever rhyme or reason. This little kiddo, she figured out how to use her legs. And she also figured out that there are two sides to mom. That was a really big deal. We Bless mama. She's a first time mom. And so her boobs aren't really super easy to nurse off of because her nipples are really small. And so Baby found the nipple on one side and was just like, okay, that's it. And I was like, girl, there's a second side. And poor mom, she was a little uneven for a while. And you could tell it was bugging her and she was kind of painful about it. She, and I was just, you know, I, I directed Baby to the other side. And she goes, I like this side better. I'm like, girl, help your mama out. <laughs> just, <laughs> oh, um, but it was okay. We got it. We figured it out. I well, said, so we use two sides now. Anyway. I have a hot shower and a bed calling my name. Oh, uh, it was. I kn goodness, are you okay? Are you gonna cough? Please don't keep coughing. Did just did it just go down the wrong pipe? Okay. Nah. You good? You gonna do it one more time? We're good now. Okay. Anyway, I'll be back in a couple hours. Obviously. Cause never ends but hopefully we keep the steam rolling because also i wouldn't mind having a little charlatan this week either 
your mother is over there coughing up a storm. And why are you laying right under the feed bucket? I swear, this kid lays down in the most inconvenient spots. I know, your light died. It was working fine earlier, but I, I knew it was on its last leg. Yeah. Ugh, bless your all. Bless your soul. Anyway, uh, I guess until tomorrow. It is now it's tech Tuesday. It's technically past midnight now, so it's Wednesday, I guess. Um, honestly, I really didn't think anyone was gonna have a baby tonight when I came in. You know, you know just the vibes. I was like, eh, no baby. And then the the ghost sapper has just been like she started a little bit after midnight, just on and off uncomfortable. The thing is, is she has done this a couple times now where she like or she'll like walk or dig, stretch, and she'll do that on and off. And then she's fine, she's quiet. And she's done that enough to us where like I don't trust her, obviously, because what was it, a week and a half ago? Weekend was like, oh she was awful all night long. And so we were all like, okay, cool, if she was really uncomfortable, then she should fall here in a couple days. And then she didn't. But then she's been on and off uncomfortable with me occasionally, like on a random day. And so it's like, it's just one of those things. It's like, she's it's like, she's doing things where it's like, oh, she's uncomfortable. Maybe it's go time. And then she settles down. She goes, oh no, I'm fine. Baby was just pissing me off. So I don't trust her to actually tell me whether or not she's going to actually have her baby or if she's just uncomfortable. So I've got my stuff prepared again, just in case. Honestly, at, the, at this point, I almost hope she has her baby in the daytime, just so I can stop looking at her. That's not going to happen. They typically fall at night. Maybe two or three times a year, we'll have one in the daytime. Uh, a little more, it's a little more likely to happen toward, like, when the, the spring, summer hits, when the, the sun is in the sky longer. Then you start saying, okay, it was 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, the sun's still out, so, you know, daytime, baby. But really, like, the true, like, 11, 2 p.m. type babies, eh, we only have two or three a year. She's one I kind of hope does, because she's driving me up a wall. She would just be nice not to have to stare at her all the time. I, like, I even just went in and cleaned her stall a bit ago, because she was, like, going, going for it. She was digging and all that stuff and wanting to lay down and so I cleaned her stall and sure enough as soon as I cleaned her stall she's like oh I'm good now totally content see how it is anyway I've left her alone all night so it's not like I, just, like I guess we'll see I think she's just uncomfortable she's just got me on edge well, she remains on and off uncomfortable, but obviously not uncomfortable enough that she's definitely still chowing down on her breakfast. So, I don't know. I guess baby's just being really annoying. Uh, in other news, we have a new face to introduce you all to. This lovely mare just came in and she's carrying a practical joke. I think she has a little while, though. Um, this Instagram definitely is getting kind of close. Yeah, her bag is much fuller to uh this this evening than it was about two days ago uh was there anyone else who, i mean everyone was pretty quiet no one particularly did anything interesting besides her being on and off uncomfortable i mean i got all my stuff ready i'm making a video specifically about what all my falling stuff is but that's that's gonna be a whole separate thing um I mean, obviously, we still have the charlatan over here as well. However, she has been pretty quiet, but she's definitely got a little bit of wax, and she's pretty relaxed behind. Uh, the country house is also kind of getting there. These four ladies here on the end aren't really doing anything interesting other than the gray mare again. She laid down the first half of the night and didn't do it the second half. Normally, she conks out and sleeps all night, so... Just a little bit something different. My my stupid light died in this stall. They're supposed to be bringing me a new one. What are you doing? Have you had zoomies? Yeah, you have zoomies? She'll randomly talk throughout the night. 
and I will like panic for half a second because she's very, very vocal. And I'll think that someone over here like had a surprise baby without me realizing it, you know? But no, it's just her. It's just her talking. Hmm? You wanna say hi? Why are you doing it? Are you so curious? Yes. She goes, I had zoomies, I kick my mom, I eat, and I go to sleep, and that's all I do. Yes, I know. You're gonna be so excited to go outside a little bit later. Uh anyway. Uh, as of tonight, I think we're done unless she really decides to slip in under the wire. I leave at 7 a.m. So, I mean, I still technically have like an hour before, but I mean, she's just doing what she's doing. Honestly, I wouldn't be overly surprised if she falls in the daytime, but you know, I'm just, I'm just here to do whatever she wants. She'll do whatever she pleases. We're just here to make her happy. Anyway, I guess we will see if she popped tomorrow or not. It is now Wednesday evening, Thursday morning. Go Zapper was as quiet as could be today. I guess she just wanted to stick it to me the night before. Um, now, this Munnings over here, she was rather uncomfortable she still kind of is right now. She's not going to fall anytime in like in the next couple hours. But she's definitely been a little miffed with baby. Baby's not. Maybe baby's getting into position. Maybe baby is just being annoying. Because that does happen. Um, but she's also the only one that we have that is like truly a little bit overdue. She was due at the end of January. It's now smidge past the very beginning of February. But she's always been one that goes past her due date, so I'm not really, like, worried about it by any means. But yeah, so she was pretty uncomfortable last night. Uh, I would like her to have a little bit more boob bef before she falls. But we do have some stuff to increase milk production if that is needed. Uh, my, my personal little mare was also just, like, a smidge uncomfortable, but more like, oh... Baby's just sitting in a weird position, not like whatever on earth she was doing over there. Uh, but yeah, it was besides her being pretty uncomfortable at that one point, it, it was pretty quiet night, I guess, even though some of us at this point are driving me up a wall and the reason I'm losing sleep. But it's fine. It is fine. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll see what happens tomorrow. It is Thursday evening. Uh, day shift is pretty convinced we'll have a baby 24, 48 hours, but not this one. At this point, we're just, I'm just, I'm not really ignoring her. I just feel like ignoring her because I've stared at her so much because she stresses me out. Um, but day shift is pretty convinced that this charlatan over here is going to have a baby. And I've got a feeling that they are right. This is the second time you've squatted to pee here recently. Um, if you see, whoop, she's had wax, but now she actually has milk. So wax is the hardened colostrum milk that will form at the end of the teat. Now that's actual like milk milk. Um, but she's been relaxed behind. She's been quiet, which is why I was like, you know, she could probably go this week. But like, do I expect it anytime soon soon? No, she's definitely been a little more shifty. They said when they brought her in at like 4.30, she was definitely a little shifty. And since I've been here, I agree. She's definitely a little shifty. So I wouldn't be surprised that they are right because that's not normal for her and that we have a baby in about 24, 48 hours. But it's also not surprising because I had a feeling she would go pretty close to her sister because they're besties. Um, and her sister went the other day. So it's just... It was, she was like, all right, I'm ready.
there's just some babies that from the start, they're freaking cool. Uh, I've been really excited for this one because the mama, her very first baby is currently a two-year-old and he is a Vacoma cult and he was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cult. And then she skipped a year and now we have this little Charlotte. Well, she's not little. Kerplunk. She's got a little Charlotte in Philly. And I have loved almost every charlatan I've seen. And so I was like, oh, if this looks like the charlatans I've seen with the body. And then she gives the legs. Like she gave the Vacoma cult. Oh, and sure enough, it's so freaking cute. I love it. And she's been so classy. She stood up like within 30 minutes. I know you did such a freaking good job. She stood up within like 30 minutes. And she nursed like 10 minutes after that. Like, absolutely just, oh, yes, you are so proud of yourself. She goes, heck, yeah. And she also has a really cool family. Uh, the mare that had the curlin earlier this weekend, that was a really, really, really nice race mare, okay? Um, and goodness. And so, obviously, she's her sister. And they have another brother that is starting to do really cool things uh, in Mexico, and then they have a sister that I, I've been excited for. I do wish they would change a little bit the training program that she's currently in. But that is not my circus. I just, I, this is my circus. That is not my circus. Um, but I think their sister also has the potential to do something really cool under the right circumstances. So I'm really excited for this little kiddo. She's like, all right, I'm going to sleep. She goes, I checked all my boxes. I stood in there. It's nap time. And you did such an amazing job. I know I need to fill up your water bucket. Give me a second. So, obviously, new kid from tonight is absolutely doing phenomenal. Rocking and rolling. Um, you know, everyone else is pretty quiet-ish. Except for when she was born. Her neighbor, who was Miss Grumpy for the past couple days, she was pretty... Um, excited about a baby she was like oh my god a baby baby it's my baby it's not your baby it's your neighbor's baby but she did settle down significantly after that happened so i'm hoping that her being grumpy is officially over and then also because right across from each other she also got really excited and a little uncomfortable because obviously baby all everyone was so excited for the baby um and also to add to that, she, this is an Instagram, she now has a little bit of wax. So I am expecting her to kind of get closer to foaling. And then this Uncle Mo, she kind of, toward the beginning of foaling season, I thought she was going to foal. And then she kind of stalled. And she, I mean, she hasn't really done anything too interesting. She's just kind of been vibing. She now, if I like tilt my head, squint, and look just right, has like the world's tiniest bit of wax on one nipple. Is it going to be there tomorrow? I don't know. I guess that's when we're going to find out. If she, But if it is, that means she's actually thinking about finally doing a little something something. Um, and then obviously the lady who's been driving us all up a wall. She was very quiet tonight, so you know, we'll not complain about that. But the Ghost Zapper also has quite a bit more wax than she has had. So, uh, that's three ladies with potential wax uh, that would potentially fall over here in the next few days. I, I do hope at least one of them will go on the night for my night watchman on, on the weekends. Because, bless, it, it, it kind of sucks when you're out here for only two days a week and... Everyone decides to fold when you're not there. <laughs> so, I, I I tried to throw her a bone every once in a while. She got the bone with that one. But obviously, you know, I have a feeling. I wouldn't be surprised if her or this country house, even though she doesn't have wax, um, decide to give her a baby over the weekend. Anyway, I still have one more night because it is now Friday morning. So, I have one more night. And I guess we'll see if any of these ladies decides to give us anything and if not well i guess we'll just wait for that weekend update it is now friday night almost saturday morning T tonight was one of those nights i came in and a whole bunch of new mares had wax so and like granted 
it was tiny, minuscule, blink, you miss it wax. But it was there. Um, the Yupon is one. This Instagram down here and the Uncle Mo on the far end. And like, granted, the, get, the ghost ever still has wax. She's had wax at this point. Um, and then this twirling candy in Country House, also down here, look like they may have wax by the end of the night or tomorrow. Something of that nature. My cat is chasing something and I don't really know. I don't know what she sees. I think it's a moth. Anyway, I have a feeling, I could be wrong, that this Instagram over here might have her baby. Um, I came down here to check on the twirling candy because she was acting a little a little shifty and she's fine i guess she was just annoyed with life um and then as i was walking past i kind of just looked into the instagram stall and i don't know she just kind of she just I, I just i get a vibe that she might have her baby tonight she's been quiet she's been eating it's just a vibe and so i'm gonna go ahead as a just in case move my stuff away from the ghost zapper stall put it in front of her stall um but I honestly wouldn't be overly surprised if she just waits until this weekend kind of makes a little more sense so I guess we'll see how this goes well despite the fact we didn't have a baby these ladies kept me playing popcorn all night long good lord jesus so I had a feeling I like I wasn't overly surprised we didn't have a baby but you know there's a thunderstorm going on right now so I'm sure that will encourage someone to do something later on but she's got wax she typically lays down and sleeps all night she only lay down once that's a little weird she drove me absolutely up a wall that being said she now has wax she's relaxed behind i am expecting a baby kind of soon ish from her now these two were slightly annoying it could have just been because of the weather or just because baby's annoying she has wax um, but she was relatively quiet. Occasionally, she would whip her tail around a couple times because she was annoyed. But besides that, nothing too interesting. Uh, this mare's got wax, but she's had wax. I am at this point where I'm like, maybe if I ignore her, she'll do something. So I'm just ignoring her. And then this mare, ooh, this mare got uncomfortable about an hour ago where she was on and off, like just digging kind of thinking about laying down and then she lay down rolled and then was quiet and she's been eating so she's I guess baby was just in a position she didn't like however she also now has wax and this is the mare that tends to sleep all night long and she only laid down once last night to actually take a nap so that's a little suspicious and they did say that she walked a good chunk of the day apparently that was a last minute thing that they told me and then my personal mare Let's see if I can get a little bit better look at that belly. If you can see that beautiful little divot, she's relaxed behind. She's got plenty of boob. She doesn't have wax, but she typically waxes up just a couple hours before she folds. So that's not necessarily surprising. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be overly surprised if she folds this weekend. I had said that she typically goes four to seven days past her due date. Her due date was last Sunday, which means this Sunday will be when the the seven day mark which is what i kind of had guesstimated was going to be closer versus the four day so yeah uh either the weekend shift is gonna have like one or two babies and then i get slammed with like a baby boom monday tuesday or weekend shift is gonna get slammed with babies galore and i get to miss out on all the fun i know it's raining <laughs> he's like he's like uh noise i know noise anyway uh i got another about 30 45 minutes which always does mean there is the potential of someone popping out a kid last minute i know i agree but at this stage most of these ladies are finishing their breakfast or the ones who are not too interested in eating right now because baby's pissing them off aka her uh they're being quiet for right now so <coughs> oh goodness Anyway, uh, I guess we will catch back up next week and see if anything interesting happened on the weekend. And I'm more than sure there's about to be a baby boom next week, so there'll be a lot of new faces to say hello to.